this time. Boulder, Colorado. What? Wait. Wait, how does it know my name? How does it know my name? No, my name's not Julie on Steam. the goddamn okay she's about your age late 20s that's me laughing with the well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby colorado university boulder you henry are out drinking with your pals you approach her you're drunk <gasps> no it's a choose your own adventure game you're pretty ew no so what's you so what's your you know major Look at this bisexual lighting in the background, though. You slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. I am a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurts your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you and Ju you are Julia's boyfriend. <laughs> I'm my own boyfriend. Fuck yeah, date yourself, bitch. Let's go. Yo, my belt undone. What's going on down there? Oh. Backpack. I'm like used to like Stanley Parable, you know, um, uh, controls. So we're trying to like crouch and stuff. Maybe I get in the truck. Truck door, get in. Wait, okay, let me see what's up here first. I know the music's really pretty. But this could be a choose your own adventure game, so maybe if I leave, that's a bad idea. All right, cool. We can go all the way up here. I miss his crouching. I miss crouch. No touching either. All right, you know what? Just in the back of the truck, why not the passenger seat? You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts, it's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Yo, that sounds real. <laughs> Julia wants to get a dog. That's so cool. My name's in this. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking. This dog, it's badass. <gasps> bucket. Wait, we have to choose bucket. Because a freaking Stanley Parable, the bucket. I'm sorry, but she likes the beagle. Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Bucket the beagle. 1979? 
You talk out on the deck, it's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart, or get at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. Not a nice word? That'd be pretty good. One day, why rush? In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. We're getting married! Okay, Gigi's on the marriage. There you're saying. <clears throat> the Refair Trailhead. Do not forget to check in. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Supply drop. Ooh, I hope we get to go to a lake. <gasps> this is so neat. Warning, Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Thoroughfare is a primitive backcountry trail. The trail may be vague along several stretches and something, something. It's a very confusing side, something. Make a plan, be prepared. No fireworks. That looks like most trailheads, uh, like their posts. It's so pretty! How is this game like? I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, the fire is at high danger right now. Uh-oh. Because it's end of summer and it's hot. It even looks like it's like it's been having forest fire smoke. So that's like it's hazy. Equals hello. Yeah, fire danger. Is there birds? I'm hearing them. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're circling over something. Usually, when birds do that, there's food down there for them. Oh, oh no. Oh, gosh darn it. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Oh no. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Don't get mad. Yeah, ignore her if anything. What the hell? You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on a tiny pill of resentment. You make coffee and go to work. <sighs> Is CC on y'all also? I don't think, did I turn CC on? Start, I didn't. Uh oh, all right, it's on now remember if I did. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Yes. Very nice. Oh, do I have to click that? Oh, pfft. oops. Ooh. Look how pretty. It, it looks very, it definitely looks like, 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 like August, July forest fire smoky. I don't know if that's on purpose. Q 
Forks Fire Lookout, eight miles. Eight's my favorite number. <gasps> Whoa. It's so pretty. There's a heart cloud. Oh yeah, it's like an upside down heart. I can't really look at it. But yeah, right there. Or a ball sack, you know. Pick your poison. Space bar to climb over obstructions. Two years later, during the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. Music change. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh, <laughs> hence the music change. Bucket gets kicked. Be bye bye fuck did the dog. What? Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face in. I'm not gonna really choose violence, but he kicked the dog. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. Jesus. You manage to scare all three. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. That was two years later again. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair, she wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Mm. 2,000 miles? These are, that's, yeah, what? That doesn't make sense. That feels like, I feel like it's less toxic to convince her not to take the job. That just, I feel like, like you could find another job. Eventually that could be really good. That's close by. That's just like, sure you can, but only if, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting the vibe that we kind of suck a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Hi, Ben, welcome in. I guess I'll just go with this one. Cause this just seems like that could end in a bad thing, but this is more of an open-ended one. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Okay, that's not bad. A whole last year would have hype. That's not that bad. I mean, that's bad, but not that bad. Wow. <sighs> Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important for her research or to her research. She didn't remember she had, s she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. Um, she was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Oh, no, no. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from an early onset dementia. Uh-oh, she's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh, no. Journal. Whoa, pretty. The heart cloud's still there. Oh, <laughs> damn. 
Your wife's got dementia. Oh, here's your, your penis. <laughs> okay. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children like idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make a love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Oh my god, this is super sad. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988, you spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. I feel like she's gonna die. I feel like with whatever thing we choose, our wife is dead and we're just vibing afterwards. Like this is post-wife pass away. That's my just assumption right now. <clears throat> I mean, this would be super hard to do, especially with someone who's as young as she is, because she's, what, like, 43 right now or something? But, like, it's... It would be so mentally draining to do it on your own. And there's people who do that 24 hours. And you could go visit her. Might be less hard to watch it on your own. So maybe full-time facility? Yeah, when I did nursing, we went to the dementia ward when I was in like like schools and like classes for like CNA stuff. That's, it's hard. It's really, really hard. I don't have anyone in my family personally that has had dementia, um, but I know like all about it because I studied it and I, I've seen it up close and personal and it is scary. It is very sad. really junk rush yeah I, it's it's difficult if it's someone you're taking care of and this is a tough decision mm. i feel like sending her to a full-time care facility because i could still go visit her hypothetically that way and then someone else can take care of her i think i'd choose that then try to take care of her by myself because if I fuck up and she like dies or something under my, under, you know, under that, then I would feel worse and I would regret not give, sending her to like a, nice, sending her to a, <clears throat> a home. Oh my God, it's so green. Interesting. So pretty. Oh, Drea, that's awesome. There's so much research on dementia. It's so interesting. Oh, it's a deer. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. See? But then, <laughs> now it reads in every other day, so I'm assuming it gets bad. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. 
You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Damn. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan's, Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. Wait, what? Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. Like, to journal? Yeah, wait, that's cool. Why would... I mean, therapy and typewriters are sick. What do, I don't understand. <laughs> You've always really liked Susan. Months go by, Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her, oh no. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. <laughs> Sad. I wonder if they adopted like an adult dog, not a puppy, because that wasn't very long. Enter the lookout tower. What's back here though? Mm. I don't think probably much. Sad. Pretty though. That's the end of the big sad now. Thoroughfare lookout. I see the game auto saving. I'm sorry. Oh, hop. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it just literally looks like a background constantly. It's so beautiful. Okay, the clouds don't move. Yet yeah, it's windy. <laughs> yeah, I remember this from the Stanley Parable, this this little lookout spot. Wow. You go so fast. Turn on the power. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Pick up radio. Hold at left shift to activate radio. <clears throat> Release left shift to talk. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. I like yeah, his voice. that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? What? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What? That is what's so personal. You? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Wow, Julia Buck, it's resub. You've killed three ex-husbands? Hey, Patrick the First just thought of something funnier than okay. 24. Uh, you 25 kappa. Killed three husbands. You're a black widow, and you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Yeah, hang up on her. What the hell? I don't know anything about you, but maybe you just really like trees. Maybe it's... Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. I don't like her. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. You get away. What the hell? Don't talk to me about fetishes. I'm married. 
Yeah, sit down. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Huh? See me? What the? That? What in the who? Who the fuck? That's. What the fuck does that mean? Maybe she's at another tower with freaking binoculars? I don't know. Can we see another tower from here? Oh. Oh, maybe she's over there. Delilah's tower. Oh. Hmm. Huh. I could see your tower from over here. Hey. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? No. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I mean- Are those fucking I could hear it. fireworks? Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. I don't like that I'm timed! Wow, I couldn't, I didn't, I guess I didn't select it. Death strikes, oh wait, can, okay. Death strikes at two. I'm sorry, what? I just threw a roll shit. Okay. Oh, that's a little insensitive right now. Let's get that out of here. The birds of Wyoming. The singular mind. Glory. Glory to the Zendori. Thermos? Why can't I just set stuff down nicely? Why do I have to freaking throw it like a man? Why can't I just set it down? Wait, now that, that kind of works. Can I do that with a book? No, I just fucking throw it. I don't understand. Supplies. Desk drawer. Open. Escape the two orcs. Dire bear tooth point. I'm covering this. Treasure chest, tavern, river, goblin cave. Death mountain. Magic circle. Two orcs lair. Fun. What the hell is this? Is our lookout on here? Lake of Acid, Lost Woods. Dun 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 dun. See, that's cool. Jesus. Oh, photo with Julia. That's me. Oh, this is gonna be it's me. I've got a camera. 
that is me! Cute! Oh, cute, 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 cute! Dude, why- can you just fucking set it down? Why is he gotta fucking throw it? Oh, I'm already upset. Oh my god. Oh. Eight rolled the hard way. Oh my god. What about this letter? Can I read that? What did I just pick up? Oh, the die. Oh, okay. Pinecone. That looks like a pinecone. You have to point to the same place you got it to place it down nicely. <laughs> oh, you sure? <laughs> I got it in that drawer. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it was right here, right? Oh, there we go. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, okay. That that makes sense. Point at kind of where you got it. Coffee. Percolator. Okay. Cookbook. Cute. Bleach. Clortox. <laughs> nice branding. Clortox. Calendar. Clortox. Flora the Shoshone poster. Pretty. Oh, aspens get so pretty in the fall. <sighs> okay. Toolbox. Glory. Oh, we've already done that. I don't remember where this was. Oh, there, cool. Mm. Man, I'm really trying to figure out where it was. Oh, that maybe it was there. I don't know. I think we kind of looked at pretty much everything that was in here. What the hell was that? Thank you for the bits, I am. Oh, cool, it attracts me. <gasps> We're just walking in the woods. Did you get rope? No, was I supposed to? Oh, it's on the way. Oh, okay. Wait. <laughs> what? Oh, look at the sunbeams through the hole. It's so pretty. The sun flares through the trees is so nice. Okay, I see it over there, but I'm curious if there's anything back here. Block trail. Hi. 
I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. <laughs> groundskeeping. Sorry for the confusion. You're fine. You're good. Why does it sound like that? It sounds like there's like a freaking bear. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Okay, so we gotta get tools to clear that. I found a supply box, so there are a lot of these out in the woods. I found the supply box. Great. <laughs> cool. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Cool. Yeah, all right. Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them. Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them. Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them. Boob! No way! Oh, they did that on purpose. It's boob? Did they make it boob on purpose? Or is it RNG and we just got boob? No shot. We just got RNG boob. Is it always 888008? Anybody know? No, Curry, you should have at the right time. We just got boob. Wait, I want to know. That's for sure intentional. Wait, what happens if you use 6969? It's literally nothing, I know, but... I don't know why I went that way. <gasps> Pinecone? Granola bar! Examine. Cherry and almond granola bar. That is so tiny. Okay. Eat. Do I eat it now? I'm, 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 I don't know if I should have ate that, but. Deal with whoever is setting off the fireworks. With the rope? Pinecone. Map. Copy information. Map updated. A note. Take. Cue to read note. Lasso him up. Choke him out. Dude, this is fucking wicked. Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout. I, I, oh, wait, no. Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of these bars you liked hiking into the park, but let's get when I'm back. Dave. What the hell? That was from two years ago, right? Isn't it 88 right now? Okay, I think we, uh. Why? I don't really understand the pine cone stuff, but okay. Okay, I just wanted to come see where this trail is really quick before we go that way. You ate a two-year-old granola bar? Fuck yeah! I'm gonna get so off track. 
Okay, I'm just gonna peek up here and then we're gonna go. Why is this? It literally sounds like there's like a bear growling constantly. All right, we're going back. Wow, Julia, look, it's a resub. Hi, Peppy. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Welcome. Oh, so pretty. Oh, to go. Oh. Shale side, it's steep. Can I, can you die in this game? Can we try? No. Okay. Oh, rappel. <laughs> rappel. back bro any height phobias in chat oh i'm sure <sighs> owie 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 report climbing accident oh yeah that's smart <laughs> oh hey what the hell's wrong with you my rope snapped coming down the shale slide you didn't break anything did you no i think i'll make it well be careful for christ's sake Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, what have I done? Why did I do that? Get me out of here. <laughs> I glitched into a rock. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was trying to, like, iframe up to the top, you know? Oh, I don't... Oh, that's... Okay, so we need to go get more gearbox stuff, right? Because I don't have any more ropes. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here just a little away from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. A little jogging so nice. Can't wait for you to get to the juicy part. This is so juicy already. What do you mean juicy? No spoilers, but. Hi, puppy. Report Meadow. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Oh, it's so gross. Clean up. Yeah. Freaking clean up after yourselves. Oh my god. You know what? You know what really you know what really gets me in the mood? You know what really gets me going? Being on a hike and seeing someone on that hike with a trash bag, literally just walking up the trail, picking up other people's garbage. That's my fucking love language. That's the shit that I'm like, that would a turn on. Like, holy cow. Like, people who go out of the way to do that. It's like a camping spot. Not all heroes wear capes. Mm-mm. But yeah, clean up after yourselves. It's literally the easiest fucking thing ever. Leave no trace. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Oh yeah, these are the firework guys. That's right, that's right. Oh, <gasps> they left their campfire! Oh look, they decided to have a campfire too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Stomp out. Well, I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I you do that at the beach all the time? The right one. Yeah, beach is another place where people just leave their stuff everywhere. Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. Fairy Irish. 
Save for later. <laughs> Product of Island. Confiscate. Do we have a never ending backpack? It's cool. Clean up. Clean up. What even is this? Red Eagle brewed in Wyoming. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. All right. Oh, we do it multiple times? I thought we did stomp it out. I mean, I don't see any sign of fire, so maybe that's just keeps says. I know we can't. Well, I mean, maybe we need to drink something. Can we drink something and then have to pee? I think it's out, right? <laughs> Pairs of clothes. Oh, they're naked. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there. So tell them off and then nice. head back. Oh, we might see some booba. Oh, <laughs> we might see some booba booba. We might see some booba booba. <gasps> I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Eight zero zero a boob. Examine the bra. Okay, that's. Say that word again. Just say underwear. Why? Because you're 12. <laughs> That's me. Me, 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 me. Oh my god, it called me out. We're gonna see some bussy and some booba. Let's go. Booba time, bussy time. Another pair of panties. Another bra? <gasps> Lesbian! Let's go, lesbians! There's a. Uh... Yes. There are two naked women. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on. <gasps> I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. What a night. It's be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. We're married. We're married. Okay. How come it says I can examine them, but I can't? <gasps> of course, they're silhouetted. them in the lake skinny dipping yeah is that a guy over there oh boy enjoy dealing with that they are drunk i know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here okay how because you're hiding in the bushes spying on us give him a break lily he probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years <laughs> he's probably still a virgin why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Suck all of your stuff. Fireworks, the whiskey, you name it. What? You dick! Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. 
You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? No, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no, but that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now, though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. Is this DMCA? <laughs> I feel like it, it's fine. If it's in a video game, it's not my fault. Guess we'll find out. My my VOD got muted during Stanley Parable. My VOD got muted during Stanley Parable when we played the, the royalty-free trap music background when we were listening to the 8. <laughs> it got muted. Royalty-free my ass. What the hell? last summer that accounted for this uh, windfall. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground. Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away. Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then... Like, I don't want to listen to this music anymore, but I want to take the boombox, you know what I mean? Years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. And what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, 100,000 acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it, but we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. The goddamn park can burn down again. Yeah, that's fair because when you, um, when the trees burn, there's like a specific, um, sort of seed something that helps like things grow again or something as long as it's a controlled fire yeah uh, i found a sweatshirt from the university of eastern colorado there's a university of eastern colorado yeah undergrowth i really don't think there is why would somebody make that up right and then put it on a sweatshirt the world's a weird place can we turn off the music on the boom box or do i have to literally leave it like, if I bring that back to the lookout, is it just going to constantly play? Okay. Ron, got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I'll probably, I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigos in Spanish and professionals amigos is spanish and professionals is italian
the fourth estate. Copy information. I feel like this is probably the most important part of these is the map updates. <sighs> like imagine if I could just turn it off, you know? But wait, so yeah, question. If I take this back to my lookout, is it just constantly gonna play? Cause I don't think I want that. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake? Like diphtheria or consumption or? Consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps. Wait, what do you mean, no, it won't? You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia, maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Is that, is that a bird? Yep, it's a bird. Well, that fixed my problem. Okay. <laughs> Back to the lookout. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> okay. I just, it's, if, if it played different music, that would be cool. But it's the same song on repeat and your girl don't have time for that mentally or mentally you know what i'm saying <laughs> it was like and it just stops uh, yeah we just gotta stick in some rice it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's okay yeah no i i tried to examine it and like click on anything and it, and it didn't give me any option to like turn it off so the one playthrough i watched a streamer toss it into the lake i didn't even mean to Okay, so we don't... Oh, Jesus. Attach rope. We don't have the rope anymore, so we have to get another one. Is that a Monstera shadow? No. What the... What the... <sighs> oh, I could go to the lake and then just make my way back this way. I don't remember which way we came... Oh, wait, no, we just, that is the lake. Jonesy Lake is the lake we were just at. I'm high as hell. So I think that means that the, maybe there's another box over there, but it shows like the, uh, the trail like cuts off. So I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Being drunk is never an excuse. Treat someone the way you treat someone. There are plenty of plenty of people out there who get very drunk and are totally capable of chilling out and not doing stuff like that. No excuse. No excuse. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that a cave? <gasps> What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? At least she apologized. Oh, for sure. Benefest I'm glad she talked about it. Too far in there. I didn't know she dangerous. was drunk in the game. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Oh, that could be fun. 
obviously be very careful. Is he talking about his wife and just referred to his wife as a someone? It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. Okay, let me look at this box first. <laughs> I think I could just leave that out here probably, right? The boom box, come get it on my way out. Because if I have stuff in the cave that I need to take out, then rip. Upgrade the map. I think we've broken it enough now. Oh, <laughs> the boom box, yeah. A flashlight? That doesn't work. Ah. Okay. Horny? What are you doing with it? I was looking at it. I'm gonna ban you. You can't do that. Oh. For access key available at ranger station. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. My name is Henry, but okay. Hello! Why would you? Oh! Is there like a 24 hour clock in the game though, y'all? It looks darker, but I don't know how that works. Spooky noises. Time seems like it's progressing, but maybe it's based on like how far we go. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Fuck Wait, that. Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. Oh my god, please. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Fun. Game Slenderman. This is where they were. Get the high ground, get the high ground. Pretty. Oh, yeah, thunderclouds, I think, right? Can you guys tell I'm holding shift to try to run and I'm <laughs> bringing my walkie talkie out? Uh, 
Oh, I probably could have just walked up that way then instead of climbing rocks. <laughs> climbing simulator. Okay. I just want to see if we can find that guy. Trail close sign. <gasps> uh oh. Owie. The stream's so freaking comfy. Thanks. We're out here in the woods, hanging out. There was a creepy guy with a flashlight who didn't say anything to us. It's another lookout. Um, so it's, uh, just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one, at least. And, uh... Was oh, that my outhouse? I pee wherever I want, as well. Oh, yeah, I made it back. Baseball in the bathroom? If we don't freaking throw this like an actual base, we'll be upset. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. <laughs> Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, hey, Delilah, sure, I'm that. shitting. Okay, I guess we have to go potty. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with Frizzy Locks. I could never. Frizzy Locks? Ah. <laughs> that fucking kind of scared me. I'm going to bring him inside. He's going to be my friend. <laughs> I was not expecting the big fucking orange man. To fill the screen up. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't realize I was gonna look at it. Where's my typewriter? <gasps> Wait a second. Oh shit. Okay. Well, let me just go put this guy up here. Oh, our boombox. Oh, I should go get our boombox. Vandalism. They broke the window. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the forest service know what happened. wanted him to stand right here. God damn it. Why is it so hard? Okay. Thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Could be the guy, too, uh, though. Okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, Hopefully forever, it lets me talk about the guy, because... A list of names. 
We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Tell me where to find a gun? Oh, chill. Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. Oh, humans can be a million times scarier than bears. Absolutely. Coffee. Wake up. That's an empty cup. <clears throat> hey, wake up. I am up. Oh. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. It's Henry. Yeah, what, what you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Okay. All right. Safer later. Wait, so I just like put the fireworks in my pocket? Two orcs map. Pick up. Wait. Oh. Cute. Okay. Jesus. Um. I I I wonder if I fucked up by saying it was the girls because it that we did see that guy. Yeah, your pocket. You stuck them in your ass, probably. Hello, Spock. Is that whiskey in your pocket? You just excited to see me, y'all? What the hell? It's 11 p.m. on a Wednesday. Okay. Don't drag me right now, y'all. On my daughter's wedding. <laughs> Not on the day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> Okay, um, sunrise. So then we get a, oh, here we go. <laughs> Perfect, there we go. That's probably the best it's gonna get. I'll take it. Now, moment of truth, we're going to see if uh, if our boombox is still there. Which I think it is because that was still on the ground where we accidentally threw him off. Fallen tree! Ooh, that wind last night actually tore up some trees near my tower. I know, right? Ugh, it's out of this world. Now, imagine we had a big fire burning. Yeah. Jesus. It's something else. I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time. If that happens this summer, you'll really be in for it. <laughs> Why does the shovel look like a like a what, Colleen? Why does the shovel look like a what? All right, moment of truth. I'm going to try out the glasses with the headset and see how it feels. Let's 
see if it's more comfortable or less or literally the same. Wow. <sighs> Julia Buck, it's a resub. Clean it. 16 months? Well, that's like a whole year. Love you. Thanks for the cozy streams. You're the best one to hug. If you're trying to say that that looks like a penis, you're not wrong, but that's a shovel. Looks like a butt plug. Okay. Let it air out, you know? Actually, it's a bad idea. <laughs> if your butt plugs look like shovels, that's bad. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go this way this time. Do these little switchbacks instead of climbing those rocks. Oh yeah, this is so much faster. What the hell? Hello? Oh. How are we dropping 20 feet? I don't know, Mimo. I have no freaking clue, to be completely honest. Can I? Okay, I can't. Also, you can't jump without having to be in front of someone either. Or in front of something. I'm just now noticing. <gasps> oh, it's fog on the grass. Cute. Cold morning fog. Report fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Oh, no. Talk about Bucket, talk about Julia, talk about your favorite bar. I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. I don't hear my name. Well, but you're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. I'm just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Wait, what? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. The list of the way she's annoyed. Hmm. She got a call, but the phone lines are down. I know. Yeah, what? Oh, this is so pretty. Holy cow. In my boombox here, moment of truth. <gasps> the boombox is gone. No more boombox. She took our boombox. Oh, we're supposed to head north after coming out of the... Uh... 
What was the compass button? G? I forget how I R? No, R's for running. N? Oh, N. You're right. Oh, yeah, this is it. We're just going north. Hey there, Delilah. What's it like being a bitch? You're lying to my face and kind of feeling like a snitch. I know it's true. I know that I've been lied to. You fucking flew. Oh, why'd she lie to me? Yo, oh, why'd she lie to me? Oh, why'd she lie to me? Oh, why she lied to me? <laughs> yeah, I took improv, so what? That was too good, but too long, too long to quote. Sorry. What was I just able to? Oh, utility pole. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. She's a little saucy. Bear tooth point. All right. Look until I fall asleep. Enjoy the fire. Thank you, Megan. I hope you get to sleep. Thanks for lurking. Reminds you of Road 96. It's relaxing. I've seen Lopes do a little bit of Road 96. Um, never played it either. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, I'm in the right area? I do believe... Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. This outhouse is in the middle of nowhere. Well, I hate to tell you, but everything out here is in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean. Am I on the right track? Just keep following the wire to the top of the ridge, and then you can head back. I don't like her. <gasps> Ooh, sneaky. One, two, three, four. Hat. Korea veteran. We got a hat. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay then. Pretty! Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ruined firefinder. <gasps> uh 
Oh. <gasps> a guitar? Can we play it? No. Oh, well, clearly we can't play because there's no freaking strings, obviously. Julia, what the hell? Wow, it's overgrown. Okay. Spooky. It has one sting, so probably not. You could go, ping, ping, you know, with it. A little bit of bang, a little bit of bang. Cigarette boxes, old trash. Anything else? Do we really? It was the only guitar down here in the oven? I feel like there'd be more. That's it? More cigarettes? Wood. Like the wood looks new and the stove looks like it looks different color. Like it's like a different coloration than everything else in here. Everything else is like green and dying and gloomy and then this just looks like it was put here like three years ago you know maybe maybe three months surprise we haven't really seen much more wildlife i see a little box i don't know if we're gonna be able to oh that's a rock we get up wait that looks like there's something over there too Oh, it's a can. I don't know if we can get up here, actually. Maybe? Really? Okay, guess we can. Maybe we get up there from going up this way? Gonna lurk and probably head to bed. Keep watching those fires. Thank you, Elena. Have a good sleep. And you too, Mimola. Have a good sleep also. Five, 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 five. There wasn't map information on by the cabin one, right? I don't think so. Another note. <gasps> Dave. Hey, oh, I got your note about needing to talk and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're coworkers, you know, amigos, professionals. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it later on. Ron. Later on, Ron. Later on. <laughs> Pine cones. Interesting. What a, what a board? Six feet down under. Detective Neil Black told himself he'd never visit Australia, but when a grisly murder in South City leads all the way back to Sydney, Black is determined to make the killer say good day to justice. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think I got everything out of there. Like, the hovering over and having things like ping is kind of touchy. Good day. Good day to justice. Any Australians? Magic? Dun 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 So I'm assuming over here maybe it was just that note. And uh I don't know. I think just that box. So now he goes the other way where we saw the can. <sighs> yeah. 
Jai mate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Clean up. Long drop down. That wasn't that bad. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton <laughs> with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Hello? You dropped further than whatever this is. Oh my god, okay. I'm not going to question the game mechanics. I'm just going to keep walking. <laughs> this man is hopeless. Hi, Annie Bree. Hi, Amy. Hello. I know. I don't like how she's subtly flirty either. I mean, maybe that's just her personality, but I, I, I can't keep I'm on the same page. And she was very persistent about if we were single or not, or if that if Julia was our ex. I'm like, chill. And she's lying. So she's just already bad taste, you know? Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't Same think beer so. Cans. Same brand, everything. Mm -hmm. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Those undies? Can I not even, like... Okay, the, the, I think, I can't tell if that's underwear or not. That, that looks like big underwear. Let's just go to hell. <laughs> Why did music prompt from that? Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. All right. Delilah. Um, I have a quick question also. So remember how we told those girls that we stole their shit and then they're like, you're going to pay for this. Remember? Um, does this happen no matter what? Like this didn't happen because we like told them we stole their shit, right? Or that we did. Is this part of the story no matter what? Or is this like a choose your own adventure type game? Wouldn't that be a spoiler? No, I, I mean, I mean, I'm just like, if does what I'm choosing really affect 
it's the game story okay that's just part of it yeah because i'm just like what if i was just saying like hey be easy with the fireworks and then peaced out you know like that wouldn't really cause them i think to be as feral but there's only one end okay clean up clean up everybody everywhere Clean up, clean up, everybody do you share. Do you get an achievement for cleaning up the entire place? That'd be kind of funny. Because I'm cleaning up everything. This happens, but there are elements affected by the choices you make. Ah, uh, okay. Like, probably, like, me telling uh, Delilah that she's a lying, two-faced looking ass. Bogey. And then she didn't talk to us for like two minutes. Bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still happens, but the dialogue can be different. I think if you blamed the guy, I can't really remember. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Because we originally said the ladies, but we didn't really know. Hmm. I kind of wish I said the guy. Because I feel like coming across the guy is, was uh, was by chance because we went that way. Mm. I don't know which one, which way to take. Do I want to go this way? Do I want to go that way? Maybe this is a dead end. Clear. Oh, we don't have this stuff to clear this yet. That's right. We need to find a toolbox that's got stuff to, like, clear trails and everything. <gasps> There's another box. I thought that was a man sitting or something. Like, does that kind of look like two legs? Someone, like, sitting on a bench or something? You know what I mean? From afar. Like, doesn't that kind of look like someone's sitting down? Or am I, am I high as freaking hell? I thought so, too. Okay. Too much Elden Ring? Just someone waiting. Oh, this is a big one! Oh, I bet this one has the thing to, like, uh... Nine, 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 nine. Oh, that's cool. Dang it, I thought this was gonna have everything I needed. Why is this empty? What the god dang heck is the point of even that? Huh? Dude, I thought that was gonna have like the stuff to cut down branches and everything. Look how pretty! We'll go up here really quick. I think there's stuff in there later, if I remember correctly. It comes up in the story. Yeah, I feel like they wouldn't have something like that with for nothing, you know. Wait, what did that read? Where did... What am I looking at? Oh, is it... Oh, it's her tower. Uh, hey, I can see your tower. suppose that means you can see me. Yeah, well enough. Do you see anything from yours, like, you know, the clues as to where they could be? <laughs> clues. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just doing my job. I like it. I, I do. I just, I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your, our, mind, minds, collective. Don't make it about us. But no, no clues. I, Don't make I it can't about see us. anything from here. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. 
Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado! I gotta get out of here! A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility? There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years? You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life? Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I know. Weird. Oh, it's a pack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Brian Goodwin. The fuck? No photos, no pictures. Well, was... I am flush with ropes now. <gasps> oh, we got ropes! The pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just... Leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. <gasps> wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? What if Cam? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Mmm, yeah. It was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so... You know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? She's Louise. Man, some things you just don't need to joke about, and that was 100% one of those things. Oh my lord. Nope. And then we can climb back up, right? Cool. Okay, can we go back down? Neat. How do we take a picture again? Oh, C. C for camera. Okay, there's nothing pretty here. And I we only have 18 shots, so I don't want to, you know. So we just have infinite ropes now. That's cool. Shortcut unlocked. Yeah, no kidding. What if we lit Delilah's lookout on fire, though, for funsies? No. It's... That could cause a forest fire. <gasps> Wait, oh. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it, too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Mm. Campfire? Y you think it's them? <sighs> I reckon so. It looks like it's to the <gasps> southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put yeah. you in the neighborhood. Yeah, finally able to tune in. Keep an eye Miss on the cozy plan. vibes the past Let month. Me know if it's any End of semester at uni has Will been do. intense. What if cozy? Okay, another one. <laughs> Updated map. Another note. 
Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check on new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for... For... For L.O.'s? So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot, Ron. Creme de la creme. Dude, why are men like that? A stone? <gasps> Ooh, fossilized claw? Ooh, that's cool. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? That's literally all she says about it. Cool. Wait, what's that? Just plants? First semester at uni doing nursing and also working full time is crazy. I could imagine that's uh, very overwhelming and intense sometimes. Hey. Good job so far, though. Sorry snapping at you earlier. Um... I thought about it, and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <sighs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and... I like companionship as much as the next person. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. There's a lot of places to go right here. She's so noisy. She's so nosy. And not only is she just nosy, but she's very, like, like I said, persistent on a relationship. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain-link fence? A chain-link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. Mm. What's a lichen? Wouldn't you liken to know? Oh my god, goodbye. Did she just ligma us? us? <laughs> That'll probably be a few days. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Did she just mm, ligma us? Well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. <laughs> oh, Especially if I knew I was in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Hmm. I imagine both those little That's cute that they like have this here. Like <laughs> like you could just walk up around, but you can also just Oh, I didn't have to climb up, I just walked up. It's funny. Lots of different routes you I can take. I had a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Delilah be acting like a flapjack, yeah? You're right. 
Did you just actually subscribe for your first <gasps> Et! time? Hi! Or ET, maybe? Thank you. 1948, hi! Thank you for the brand new sub and for the follow. Welcome in. What Thank does she you. have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Oh. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. My name. Sad. It's really cool hearing my name a lot in the game, but it's sad that it's paired with someone who is sick and it's just a emotional sad story. I know, I, I don't know, I mean, I, I don't know much about dementia diagnosis, and I don't know how quick that is, but, yeah, in one go seems, I don't know if that's how that really works or not. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Maybe I bring, maybe I do a rope just in case. Um, because if we get down there, we need to get back up, then we can have this shortcut. <laughs> Which I don't need to go down for. Actually, maybe, uh, I don't think we need to go down. I think we'll just leave it there. Yeah, I don't think we probably need to be down there. Good picture spot. Mm. That's kind of cool looking. What if Cam, anybody? Get that top tree in frame. Get that shadow on the right out of here. Perfect. Cute. Pretty. No, I thought it was just for dog deaths, too, when I first heard of the website, obviously. But it's for all, um, like, all themes. Literally, like, everything you could pretty much think of. They've got warnings in there. It's awesome. Lots of mountains are so pretty. Mountains! Where are we, actually? Oh, we're like really close to uh back to the lookout. Cool. Oops. Keep pressing escape to get out of the map. I did that friggin' I can't remember what other games I do that in all the time. Okay, I think this is a new box. I think I shut them all the time. Oh, this isn't a new box because we have no um it's uh no lock on it. Yeah, the map animation is really cool.
There's our home. We didn't really find much, I don't think, right? Regarding the ladies. He kind of scared me a little bit. Our little... Our little man. Forest burns. I feel like there was a note somewhere else that I forgot to pick up, but maybe I did pick it up. Ready. Prince, if y'all are interested in Julia's real nature photography skills. That's true. If anybody's newer here and did not know, I do landscape photography, yes. It's all on my Instagram, but also I do sell my favorite shots I've ever taken on my print website, which is that website. So if you guys want to make your house pretty with cute landscape photos that I've taken, or if you just want to look at them, they're there. They're really nice. I've ordered them. Their frames are really good quality too. I they like they'll literally ship it to you framed and ready to hang, and it's it like really nice quality, especially the way they package it up. They're they're awesome. I think you went in a big circle. Mm-hmm. I did go in a big circle. Is this where I was supposed to go? Back here? Oh no, I was supposed to go to the freaking fire. I'm high. Where is that? Oh, it's over there. Oopsie doopsie. I, for some reason, thought... Yeah, because I thought we were supposed to come back down here and find, like, like evidence. And then I forgot we saw the thin column of smoke. Whoops. Um, I think I'll be finishing this game in one playthrough. I mean, if I don't, that's not the end of the world. We'll just continue it tomorrow because I'm streaming tomorrow. But I, I, I'm down to, like, stay up and vibe. It's burning. I don't know if I've gone this way. I think I might have. Actually, I don't know. Oh, another box down by the river. I wonder, we still need to find things that'll clear paths. I bet those are like shortcuts or something. <laughs> Ignore the fire and fire watch. All right. Give me something to cut it. Toilet paper? the hell? Alright, whatever. <sighs> what is this? Okay, a book. Updated map, though. And a letter! We got a letter! We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We got a letter. Ron, really wish the powers that B could issue. Really wish the powers. Really wish the powers that B could issue us radios. Like the people in charge. That didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper. But every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office. But I don't think she gets that I took the job. So I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through this bottle of fives instead. Miss you, Dave. Sorry, Dave. So, how'd you meet? Stop asking me questions about it! Why does she care? Met in a bar. Mmm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. <laughs> That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, oh, you were brave. I was drunk. I don't like her, dude. Medicine... Medicine wheel? Wow, there's an old, um... I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. 
Yeah, Where? it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Oh, Big is it Horns? this? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on cool. the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Hey, I'm at the Medicine Wheel, and I can't see the smoke anymore. Where am I headed again? Towards Five Mile Creek. It's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Okay, heading over there now. I... I see it. I didn't... <laughs> but he decides. We just got a letter. Oh yeah, this was our dead end before, right? Or is this the one that broke? I think this might have been the one that broke. I can't remember. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. Yeah, I think this was the one we fell down. That's right. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. <sighs> Sorry for the umpteenth time. Anyway, call me when you find the girls. Or anything. Or call me whenever you want. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents... I, uh, think they always thought she could do better. And that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck Aww. that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Damn. She's very intrusive. Yeah, she's very... Very, uh... Yeah. She seems... She, she, Delilah's got very manipulative... Energy to her. More than likely due to how she was raised. Maybe her parents were the same. Absolute manipulator, yeah. She's just got that energy. For someone who chose to be as far away from people as could be, Delilah really likes to get into other people's business. Yeah, that, that's a good point to think about too. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to come back to. The, this, I was like, I remember I saw a rope point and I wanted to do this just in case there was like a shortcut. But I saw what the other way was and it was literally just the lake, so. Where the Aspie facing is our way out. Oh, cool, okay, cool, cool, cool. I know, she's very gossipy. Nobody shoot, we're pissing. <laughs> nice. Delilah is absolutely one of those, right? Now everyone share one thing about each other, bosses. Oh my god. Okay, I was confused at first because I thought, okay, I've been clearly spending the last three months of my life playing Elden Ring. Because when you said bosses, I thought of like a boss like that you fight, like Fog Door boss. And I was just like, what? Why would bosses ask, share one thing about each other? And then I realized, oh, you mean like a boss at work. I'm not even kidding. I literally like sat here for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> bosses? <laughs> oh, can you tell I've been self-employed for... Four years and played Elden Ring for three months straight. <laughs> oh man. Six nine. Nice. The fog door on our tower, I'm sure, yeah. Pine gong. Pine gong. Pine gong. Hey, I wasn't done. I was walking away. Yep. Missing person. 
Let's look at this before we... Ah! Missing person, Mitch Michaels, 31, 62, 165 pounds, short brown hair, distinctive facial hair, general info. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonasee Lake on July 3rd, 1981. It was nine years ago, right? Isn't it 88 right now or 89? So eight, seven, seven years ago? Seven. Is it 88? That was seven years ago. I thought it was 89 for a sec. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. He drives a 4F250 blue and white Montana license 28073.26. <gasps> There's the 555. Fun fact, if you didn't know, I know most of us probably already know this, but... Julia Buck, it's the reason. The reason why they put 555 in phone numbers is because you can't actually call those numbers. So, I mean, everyone probably knows this, but there are some people who didn't know. In the movies and in TV shows and in video games, the reason why there's always 555 is because if you were to try to call that number, it wouldn't work. Fun fact, if you didn't know. You didn't know that? Mm -hmm. So you'll notice even in like big movies, like Marvel movies or something, they'll have 555 in, in, the, in the numbers there. Yeah, it's reserved for works of fiction. Exactly. That is a good way to put it. Lush woods. Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you wow, must be I, talking about the Aspen You guys have never... Damn. Yeah, I think that's where I, I thought am. that was like a pretty well-known thing. Oh, Those trees nice are actually one. one root organism. Did you know that? Did she just say orgasm? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Cool. Surprised we haven't, like, seen any wildlife like bears. We saw one deer in, like, the tutorial. Oh, I didn't tell Delilah about the missing person. You guys are right. Hold on. I meant to do that, but I was reading it, and then I just got distracted by the phone number thing. <gasps> Hydrate, unclench your jaw. I need to go pee pee soon, too. If we're going to stay up for a couple more hours or so, I also think I want to make some hot cocoa. Because that sounds kind of yummy. But I'm going to run back. I forgot to tell Delilah about the missing person thing. Which I can't do because it's in my pocket, right? Oh, I can't talk to her about it anymore, can I? Right? There's no way to do that now? Darn. Um, well, if anybody wants to let me know what she would have said about it, you can. I don't know. That doesn't affect the story too much, right? I know I love some hot cocoa. <gasps> Cauliflower pizza bowl with plant-based pepperoni? What the hell? Wait, like a microwave, like ready meal, Alisor? Where'd you get that from? It doesn't affect the story, not really. Oh, okay. Darn, I forgot to do that. I got distracted by the phone number thing. Is she just like, oh, wow, yeah, whoa. I feel like she couldn't say much about it. I'm gonna eat a sandwich and drink coffee. Nice, Mystic. I hope this sandwich is delicious. Waterfall. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Ew. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. All right, um. Actually a nice little photo spot. This grass is not the cutest, so I don't know if I want it in the foreground. Ooh, but, oh, this tree though. Wait, give me. Hmm. Is 
This isn't as cute as I was hoping it would be. A little bit of that bush in the foreground, perhaps. All right, everybody, what cam? You ready? Three, two, one. Beautiful. Great job, great job, great job. You guys took a great photo. Good job, good job. I mm. see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I see. Third time's a chalk. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground Poor here guys. at their camp. Literally anybody. Dangerous hunks. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. Huh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. <laughs> the pants, I mean? These girls have a full case of beer left here, a full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Okay. Oh, his sheets! Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks hmm. like... Maybe that guy we saw was the missing guy. That'd be wild. Looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. There's a note. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. I'm not always yeah, on good this. thinking. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> okay, here's a note. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. All right, here we go. I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about you, how you creeped on us in the lake. And then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross, gross out. You're probably a mental fucking ax murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some friends. What the hell? Oops. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do oh. this. Okay, someone or something. I did a, to I, did, I didn't mean to destroy me. the stereo. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. We didn't. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really 
wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Wait, I wasn't done looking around. Day three? I didn't get to take a picture. What the heck? Find boards downstairs to patch the window. Hey, Henry? <clears throat> yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Oh my god. Because I'm horribly superficial. Oh my god. <sighs> this isn't that hard. Unless you just don't want to answer. Do you know Raleigh Fingers? He pitched for the A's? No. Well, I'm the spitting image of him. Oh, wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? <gasps> Ooh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. Arr! Okay. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you're the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. Mm. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, <laughs> hmm. I know it's not easy. A well, uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. <sighs> Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, uh, is that okay? Okay, that's sort of uh, fair, I guess. Don't, <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna. She's do being it weird, but. Fine. Oh, what? Your thing? eyes. Tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. Maybe, maybe the they first time with us. Maybe we'll get to see it. Yeah. Uh -huh. to drag out your brushes Look, I don't know how to paint describe and eyes. And paint along with it, I'm sure. I think you'll enjoy it. That's good. Angelica, hi! Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Hey, Absolutely. little girl. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we need to find more wooden... Oh, here's one. One more? Oh, wow, they were really hidden. Board up the broken window. Have you played this, Angelica? This is very, uh... Well, I guess it came back in 27... It was 27... That was five years ago, right? We... <laughs> this is very Nazi zombies. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? 2016? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Is there anything I need to be doing before we do ready to work? Why is it prompting us with ready to work? Casey, happy birthday, though. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. 
I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. You. Aww. Well, regardless, take a All seat. Right. The forest depends on you. Was I leaving this area completely? Is that why? Oh, yummy. Hey, we're in the spot again. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Oh, jeez. That's Me fair, neither. But... All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Day 15 a week later? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Henry, Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm. Is I she am. English? Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Oh, Jules? Australian. What? Oh, sorry. That's right, because she's in Australia. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. Good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. He's dreaming? He bet that, yeah. It was Delilah calling and then... He... Hike north to retreat. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find a supply drop, remember yeah, she's it's not, not doing just shit. for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, I mean, maybe she is, get but... their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> okay. All right. So, like, two <laughs> weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and... All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Oh, yeah, that was I a hope dream. you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look, so a couple of months before I took this job, I, <laughs> I 
goes with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Hmm. Is he really just dono walling her right now? Oh. Food for the other lookout. Food for two forks lookout. Food for other lookout. Can I take all three? End day. Report heading home. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Wow, things are zooming. Oh, I thought... I thought I was like the delivery man. What? Hey, you didn't take all of the supply drop food, did you? Um... Because, remember, it was for a lot of people, like, five. I'm hungry. So, you did. I gotta go. A month? seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year yeah it's really going i'm gonna call it in they'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression but i bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer and she doesn't have a name yet i usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them but why don't you do the honors Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I, was I was trying kidding. to say, like, call the fire Delilah, because <laughs> no, you like, were not. She can You're burn. sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. So there's this creek down the hill, and, <laughs> um... You know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. That's actually kind of a cool idea. You'd like it there. I would if I was with you? I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. No. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but... When the sun is down, you can just get lost. Not yeah, period. Yeah. A... I'm glad you're here. 
why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. Bro! And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the no. end of the summer. <laughs> Dude. Um, Come on, boundaries. Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm, I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk without these radios. Uh. We could, um, you know. Okay, I'm just genuinely curious what the dialogue is. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Oh no, dude! She probably You're would have fucking said it anyway. It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. That's so gross. Well, maybe you shouldn't have taken so much of it then. That's so that twisted. She I knows about her sick wife. Fish and game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. <laughs> Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. You are such a drama queen. Ugh. I can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so icky, dude. I can't get over that. Twisted. More fireworks? Wait, what? What the... Uh, D? I found a clipboard down here and I, uh... There's... Something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Julie and Julia. <laughs> I don't know why I just called you that. I want to read what's on the other one. Locate strange noise toward canyon. Creepy. Another radio. <laughs> A flash. Bang. What the fuck? Henry, are you there? That's got to be the missing guy, right? What happened, Henry? I. Holy hell. I just. I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with the radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything cold to you? Cold cock. Um, uh, 
Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you, are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll mm. let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got <laughs> to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm going to call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. That's a dream. Hike safe. He didn't trust her since the beginning. I think she still knows something. I think that guy she was talking to is part of it, obviously. And the missing guy, maybe that's... I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Shove. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. <laughs> dick. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. That's cool that they leave the rocks there to, like, try. Hmm. I mean, you could easily just, like, jump over it, but again... Okay, where do we need to go? Something river? Wapiti Station, we're here. We need to get in. Wait, okay. What did she just say? I was too busy fucking slamming my hard rock on the fence. Ruby River? Ruby River? Yeah, okay. No, backtrack for me. Why are we going to Ruby River? Scout cam bottom right. It's literally at the top of the screen? Not anymore. To find the firemen there to come break open the fence for us. Oh, okay. I like to, I got, I spaced out during that, her last part of her conversation right there. I know she said go to this place on the map or whatever, and then I just forgot exactly why. Philly cheese, what? <laughs> firemen.
We got some music. I, mean, I guess we can just follow the river down. Oh, baby. Wild and fire, Lily. Are the other lookouts telling the truth? Of course. Why wouldn't they be? I don't know. Maybe someone told them not to. You're suggesting that you and I are actually being watched by whom exactly? <laughs> you know, people. As opposed to what? Aliens? Math scientists? The CIA? Wild separatists? The, the fucking Illuminati? Come on! Look, you should have seen this clipboard, Delilah. Yeah, I guess I should have. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Mm. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Lamau, I'm going the complete opposite way. See you. Yeah, she's uh, very sus very suspicious. I don't like her already. Yeah, no, I haven't liked her from the beginning. She's got weird manipulative, like she's she's just yeah, lots of red flags, lots and lots. Yeah, she's just comfy in her tower and like isn't doing any of this kind of work. She's just out there like telling us what to do. dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <sighs> oh, boy. <sighs> Hope I'm going the right way. I feel like I took the long way. <sighs> you only ate half a pizza? Nobody, not anybody in the world wants to have sex after eating a full pizza. Oh, dude, that's, I, uh, that's still facts. I'll stand by that until the day I die. No shot, you eat a full pizza, and then you're down to do that. No shot. You're full potato mode after doing that. You don't want to be touched. 
just like leave me alone let me breathe i probably am having trouble breathing because i ate so much oh we went down here earlier and then we i didn't have too much Oh, that was blocked off by bushes. Oh, the fire burnt down all the trees. I see, I see, I see. I'm glad we came down here already because now we know that this... I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks <laughs> now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Okay. That's really pretty. Look at that. Nah. Is that a boat? Oh, a snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. Look like a jet That's ski crazy. for a sec. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. And that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Pork Pond? Uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. Hi, Satsuma. Welcome in. And Fawn, hi, too. I know the fired. She's not in the mood for wordplay. This is a very large field. Curious if there's like another crate or something out here. Hmm. We all run, check. I see nothing. We go back. Piggy dipping in the piggy pond. Yup, literally. Delilah wants Henry to pork her pond. to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Arapaho. Yeah. <sighs> it's been out there since the Arapaho. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. So what does he want me to do? He wants me to like... Go up and about over here maybe? literally can't like go anywhere
Find firefighters and old scamp pass controlled burn. Yeah, 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 yeah. What did he what did he just say also? He said he wanted to go up somewhere. Trap a hoe, it's now DBD. Whoa. <laughs> Trapper? Oh, maybe we're supposed to go over to the left now? Oh, maybe we can jump right here, actually. No. Shit, dude. What the heck? That looks almost jumpable. <gasps> yeah? No. supposed to be going wow julia fucking three sub so glad i found this super cozy stream all the time could, like, make now back jump. to what if lurk hi tylus happy almost two years by the way holy cow thank you for the 22 i hope you have a nice little lurk up Big fire over there. <laughs> Doesn't that look like we can just make this fall and like walk over it? Maybe we do that to get back. Kick it down, baby. Chop down. Oh, we don't have anything. Oh, we're gonna get something. We'll probably get like supplies from them or something to do all that stuff, chop down stuff. Oh. Bam, bam. About the scoots. You ever talked to any of the scouts? They haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. That's so creepy. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. <gasps> Trapper! There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scad. Stalwart prey. That's messed up. <gasps> oh, I can, I can. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? It's Why? the same guy. You don't think you're gonna end up on a milk carton, do you? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking. That's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a hole who dragged his son out to do a job. Nice fellow. Realized it was a bad idea. <laughs> um. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about it every little thing that pops into their head and then there are those who just want to be left alone he was the latter and i'm the former aren't i well 
I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. <laughs> oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Yes, <laughs> let's do that. So... Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. So, did you mention something about Ned Goodwin having PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Yeah, these hmm. guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. I can't remember if she mocked the PTSD earlier. Oh, hey, we got an axe! Nice ass. Axe. A memo? Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. Us. They're researching us. Probably. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else what they do yeah that's what i think well fuck that agreed i think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding but god if you saw what you said you did fuck henry yeah i saw it okay so what's next well i've got an axe so i can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site sounds good check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you mm. Should probably can we keep it oh hold i'm gonna hold it even though that might be bad for us to do but take a photo of it i can't put it back now i stored it i didn't think to do that the only good thing about her name is the d's nuts jokes that come with it I mean the dad jokes she says oh yeah that's right tree dun, 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 dun. also purple hamster is here hi purple hamster hello hello nice uh, nice uh. nice oops Nice. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. It's getting spooky. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. What the? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. 
I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. Oh, she's not the answering? June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Oop. Are you kidding right now? Did you not stay up all night knowing that someone is- I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. She's trying to talk in code Nothing because they're like listening. Nothing like afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Cottonwood Creek, right? Yeah, oh, obviously it's at the top of the thing. And... Nothing new in here, right? That's really pretty. Lots of foods. Oh my god. <laughs> Biff peanut butter. Oh god. Huckers. Or no, I'm sorry, muckers. Low sugar. Wow, that's funny. No, I said huck huckers. Huckers with an H. The food I stole from the other watchtowers? No, did not mean that. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, let's see. What's the best way down there? Going back and taking the left, that's what. We are children of God here. This is true. Bum <laughs> Anything new? Oh, Jesus Christ. Are those more books? No. Suddenly it's Christmas. I think this is a way. I can't remember, but I think this is a way. She's gonna get us killed.
Well, if Cam, everyone take that picture. Oh. Ready? One. Get your cameras out. Two. Nice. Good shot, good shot, good shot. Oh, that's cool, too. Oh, what the f is this? Jeez. <laughs> Ski. Okay. So pretty. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. <gasps> New radio. Say you. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Keep his evidence. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? We need to find out how they're doing it, why, everything. You understand? Henry? What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? It's music. I know that I'm scared. How? Is this None all in my head? No, 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 no. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Damn. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, <laughs> this isn't oh, happening no. to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You <gasps> need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. That's right, we got an axe now. Okay, we need to get over. Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. Is that an elk? I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. Mm -mm. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Mm -mm. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Okay. 
Horny on main elk. There's an elk in heat, it's fine. I know. I like how we have an option to just say fuck, and it's just like all it is is I'm just saying fuck. Okay. Okay. We're good. Yeah, I think, I don't know what the strange noise was. I mean, it, it was just like an animal. So I think it would have just been us saying like, oh, this is noise. And then she'd probably say, oh, it's elk. I'm, I imagine that's how the conversation would have probably gone down. You go this way. Ooh, wait a sec. I don't think, maybe we can get something if we go this way. Because there's nothing really over here. Raccoon. Um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. You would just disappear it into the fucking rock. That was cool. Cone in it. <laughs> Whiskey? What are you talking about? Bundle of fire? Oh, there's a bundle of fireworks. Compensate. There's a whiskey bottle. Oh. Oh, we took that already. go okay we're gonna go crush this gate and see what happens I think it's up here oh my god those colors are so pretty Yeah, it is this way. <gasps> it's ducks. Small shroom. It's so. It's really nice. It's like relaxing, but also intense because you know, like, what the hell's going on? But also, it's just like really cool to just, you know. Wait. 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 It's just really nice. What the? Wait. What the heck? Yes, that was the bird that caused the boombox to eat. You are correct. Very good duck impression, 10 out of 10. Thank you. Thank you very much. Quack, agreed. <laughs> That's my review of the game. Just wait. Stacking rocks. Okay, I think the gate's up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. Gate meet axe. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Pry that bitch open, baby. <clears throat> that did it. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then.
Wap, 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 wap. Don't sting us. Achievement unlocked B plot? What the hell? Wappity wap 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 station personnel. If you're trying to research Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Sneaky, sneaky. It's getting dark. It's getting dark and spooky. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Okay. Doesn't say anything to that. Bust the generator. They can't use it. <gasps> Wait, hold on. That's really pretty. I just don't care about the tower, and I want the power to be out of it. Wow, it's setting. Look at the sun's moving. Nah. That was really pretty, but I just don't like how this is in it. Whoa. Oh, whoa. There's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm... Not really up on high tech. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is mm. here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. What's that red light? Wave receiver? What does this do? Follow the beeping device. How come we didn't like tell her about the wave receiver? I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. Wh what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? 
Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? It's proportionate food intake. Maybe the Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. <laughs> thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Ah, uh -huh. through it. <laughs> Whoa. I want to read it. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. Guilt-ridden? What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? Multiple Sissy, lovers! You and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Oh my god, she's... Yeah. Needs help. Maybe. Oh my god, Delilah, no. No way. Well... Maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Selfish. Ah, oh, so fucking wound up. Look, it's all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow Intense. we can figure out what to do. Well, we just took that, so now that's like... Oh, keep and hold. I'm, I'm trying to, because I don't know if we're going to obviously come back here, so I want to try to just keep stuff. Bolton board. Because once we leave, we're probably not coming back. What's this mug read? Just hoof it. What? What does that mean? My cheeks are clenched. Hoof it? Oh, like... I'm stealing their mug. Fuck, wait. No, it makes me walk like a half mile an hour. Some spice is about to happen. They're gonna hit us over the head or something. Something spicy. Your heart's in your ass. What's gonna happen? Why are they tracking everybody? What's going on? What do they want? Boss fight coming up. Whoa! Whoa! Woof! The woof! The. Um, the 
Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. Wait, what do you it mean wasn't site? Me. <sighs> what do we do? Wait, where we just were? Call it in. Just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? How's it that big yeah. when we just literally walked We're out of there? People watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Wait, wasn't it already day 77? What was the last day we saw? I thought it was 77. Maybe it was 76 or something. Maybe this, oh, this is, we're just back. We're back at the place now. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. She's gonna be weird, I swear a to God. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Oh my God. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. You do. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Yeah. Who else are they following? They want it back. Who? Old walkie-talkie bug. Is new radio okay? Hi, Buffy. Sight reports. No too much. Delilah lying. Oh, is this his little diary? What the fuck difference a day makes? Holy hell. I don't even know where to begin. It's late past midnight, so I'm going to write down everything that happened today as fast as I can. I went down to the lake and found the clipboard and walkie-talkie, and I don't know how to describe this. I don't know what other... Uh, I don't know what to say other than someone is listening to Delilah and I. Shouldn't it be me and Delilah? It should be me and Delilah. That's a typo. Because if you took Delilah out, it would be someone's listening to I, which doesn't make sense, right? Shouldn't it be just me? Maybe I'm wrong. I think I'm right. It should be Delilah and me. Yeah. I know that sounds crazy, but someone is out here listening to us and attacked me. They're taking notes about our conversations. We think there might, uh, we think there might some sort of, there's just typos all up in this. So, um, we think there might some sort of study going on. Like maybe we were given these jobs not just to look for fires, but to be a part of a behavioral study or something. Fuck. I know this all sounds insane. It is insane. I don't know how to explain any of it. Delilah definitely heard someone on our walkie talkies too. It wasn't just me. I'm rambling here. She heard someone too. I tried calling her a couple times tonight, but we don't want to talk on these anymore. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe they're um, adding typos on purpose just to kind of make it a little bit more realistic, you know? Okay, and that's all of the notes we found. That's cool that they're all posted. Okay, let's figure out what this beeping is. Sorry that there's just beeping. Not much I can do. How do I? Huh? 
How do I um, utilize the little thingy again? How do I, how do I use my... It's N, right? Okay, I figured it out. So it's that way, right? Sorry about the beeping, y'all. What the hell? Wait, what the hell was that? I didn't do that. You see me just like fly out of there? Shit! What? Ah. Yeah, hmm. What the fuck? What do you mean, hmm? An alarm just went off. That's creepy. Oh, it's the key to the cave. Let's go. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's, there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Oh yeah, she's drunk. Maybe they're out. panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. She yeah, doesn't well, really it's hard sound to feel drunk like right you now. Have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh, well, you're back in your tower. I can't run. Also, Maybe I'm trying. I need a drink too. I'm not in my tower. <gasps> I am looking at a man standing in your lookout, oh. and it's not you. It is not me. Oh my God, go! I'm going. I get your fists out, y'all. What a fight, what a fight. Hmm. Lion ass? What do you mean someone on my tower? She's drunk. She's seeing shit. <gasps> Taps? Taped Walkman? us talking down at the site it sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby oh, Jesus yeah and Fuck. it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea wedding ring no we are screwed no put on what do you mean what are you taking wedding ring on put that shit on D, just don't freak out okay don't freak out Okay, chill. <clears throat> hmm, interesting. What's the twist? What's the twist? What is that? What is replaying doing? Nothing. What's wrong? 
Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. Oh yeah, the cave. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Oh, a trigger warning at the caves, by the way. Okay, noted. Um, I don't know what happens at the caves or what, like, theme of trigger to be worried of, but yeah, um... But yeah, yeah, yeah. Knowing the trigger might be spoilery, so... Do you have the key? Yeah, I, I think I should just automatically have the key. But thank you, Deeb. Um... Cave is up there. I need to go back. I like how it has dots from where we came from. That is so helpful. Oh, yeah, because it's past the outhouse. All right, we go. I remember how to get there. Didn't I keep this shut? I must just reset or something because the baseball's back in there. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked stuck I would be in my if you craw? to me. But now that I asked, Is that I a phrase? What does that mean, craw? Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. I still don't trust her. I st like, still don't trust her. Okay, um, potential content warning. Oh, it's just a jump scare? Oh. I wonder if I'll still get scared. Hell? Jesus, this is a big cave. Oh, did the door I'm sorry, did the door shut behind us? Can we get out? Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. <gasps> is this thing working? Delilah! Send someone to the cave, please! Dude, she's gotta be behind the cave. Get any damn reception. She's gotta be behind the cave. Actress looking ass. Long steep drop. Bestie just fucking slide down it, man. Pulaski? Oh my god, that sounds horrible, man. I feel like you just that was just falling your foot. Squeeze through. Jump scare, but also more. Do you guys think I'll still get jump scared? I probably will. If it's just noise related, I probably will. It's freezing in here. Oh, it's a big cave. What is that? Is anybody <laughs> down there? A shoe. Well, I will obviously go down there last. Oh, cool. Okay, well, I'm not gonna fall down yet because I don't know if we can get back into the cave. You put your ring back on, nice one. Yeah, because I didn't realize he took it off. I didn't do that. Put the camera away. What the hell's going on? Oh, 
Oh, flashlight would be kind of useful, maybe. <sighs> Actually, I don't like the flashlight. Oh, wait, I'm high as hell. I thought I could like drop down there for some reason. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. For anyone's like, what is she doing? <laughs> that is the way. I sw for some reason, I thought we could just go down to the shoe. Wee. <laughs> Scares me. A picture of the shoe? Oh my god. Do the pictures really matter for that? Like, should I be getting evidence? I was trying to save them for more, like, cinematic and pretty stuff. If they don't, if they don't matter, I'd rather save the shots, I think. But I know she did tell us to take a picture of the tent, which I forgot to do. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone mm. tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. Mm. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a, a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. A shoe! <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. If this is your first that time, sound this, dangerous. let me extend a personal invitation Hi, to Andy. drag out your brushes and paints and, and paint along with us each well, other. Welcome. Hello. Ooh, pretty. Oh, look, there's a lookout over there. That's kind of nice. Yes. What a shot. What if Cam? What if Cam? Everyone ready to take a photo? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. Wait, I can I can take it. I can store it, right? Yeah, we have some intense moments potentially coming up in the game. What was the content warning for the um for the cave? Was it just the getting locked in there or the cuz I didn't get a jump scare, I don't think. Okay, we're going to read this talking meteors. How ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away. What if Julia, what if I told you avoid second person it's too conversational for science. What if I told you that you could use meteors in our atmosphere to talk to people far away? You would probably think I was a liar, but you would be wrong. Meteor, the alien rocks that come to our planet from outer space, can be used to bounce ham radio waves off of, off of what? and let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now, you are thinking, okay, Brian, this sounds like a movie. The flight of the navigator. It's not real, but you are wrong. It is real. It is science. It is possible because meteor scam... Meteor Scatter Communications, my science fair project, proves that Meteor Scatter Communications is real. Is this a kid? Sixth grade! Oh, this is a kid's one. But what it is. <laughs> MSC is a radio propagation mode that utilizes the ionized trails of meteors with our at within our atmosphere. Meteor meteors upon the atmospheric entry can create a dense path of ionized particles that the ham radio operator can use to establish brief communication paths between operators up to 1500 miles away it's pretty cool are those your own words brian <laughs> i'm going to test this by having a small chat with a friend my dad made in the army who lives in albuquerque new mexico 1000 miles from my house we are going to try to talk at a regular time but my hypothesis is that that won't work and we will have to wait for a meteor shower so we can establish a communication. Um, Brian was doing yeah, a science a fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? Yours truly? <laughs> wait. Are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? 
Mm. I'm just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Oh, really, Andy? Yeah. This was the Every second one you ever streamed? It's really good. Nice. I didn't realize how much, like, intense story there was in it. I honestly had no idea what this game was. I thought it was just kind of like a more just... I don't even know. I, I didn't think it was like this dramatic. Brian was a hell it's of a really good so far, though. He's a... An artist. You're dead. Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Wait, can I not keep it? Keep, hold. Okay, thank you. Handmade sign. The Goodwins. It's cool. Is there any way, could I just... Thank you, I kind of just want to look at it. Family crest. Note to the ranger. This is from Brian. Dear ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Or could you do me a favor and return them to me? Brian Goodwin in the mail. My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Plate, Nebraska 69. 101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me, if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's the wizards and weavers? Wiv weavers? Weavers? Yo, any D and Ders? Any D and Ders out there? Is this like a little, you know? Unintelligible nerd stuff. <laughs> what? That's cool. Yeah, definitely a nod to D and D. Mm -hmm. A character sheet. Yeah. Radio Goodwin with Brian and Ned. Mm -hmm. Postcard. Dear Mr. Zackler, I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodman. <laughs> Yikes. Bundle of pitons. The, oh, the, the trigger warning is coming up when we go back to the caves with the anchors. Oh, we go back to the caves. Sorry, I forgot there were two cave visits. I see. I didn't realize we're going back to the cave. Okay. Old paint can. Banner. Oh, dinosaur. <laughs> Old pillow seat cushion. Loose stone. What are the what the That's cute. Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. God. Yeah, that's that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. 
Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... <sighs> I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving Cute. him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. I dig the dinosaur. I'm taking the dinosaur. We made the place pretty comfy too. That's an achievement. Oh, yeah, she's a liar. What are probably stolen pillows? That little shit. Oh. What the? <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's it. I'm giving my dinosaur back. Okay. What we're learning, Delilah, is that sh we shouldn't fucking lie. I know that's what I'm saying. She's been lying about so much. I don't. I still don't trust her with this whole story situation. I feel like there's gonna be a twist regarding her or something. There must be. Can I grapple back up there? Uh oh. Oh, that looks more climbable. If that's our option here. I'm sorry, did I just see climb down as an option? Cracked rock? Well, there we go. I wish I looked over here a little bit more. If I would have just like looked right here and saw that this lit up when I moved, I would have been able to do that a hot second ago. We found it though. Hopefully I can wrap it with the dinosaur. Interesting, that is very tricky. Cause like that doesn't look very obvious. What do you think is in there? Cool, well we're done. There's gotta be something. Why else try to kill me? I don't know, Yay. really. I mean we gotta find out. What do you think? I looked at I didn't notice Whatever the crack is, though. Like I didn't anyone about. Like and they I'd, closed the you know, door when they could have just realized that that was something in rock. Like I didn't see it. You up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just, I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. All right. We're back in business, y'all. Time to go back and see what's going on with the cave. Yeah, I feel like I wish it was a little bit more obvious. I mean, to be to be completely honest. Oh, uh, also. It should be obvious because that whole up. step. Looks like you didn't kill him. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah. You've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. All right. Um, also, again, just a heads up. Apparently, there's a content warning coming. I think jump scare and maybe something else.
I can't use a camera. I kind of want to set like the dinosaur up and take a picture of the dinosaur somewhere. I should have done that outside. Oh, see, look, another one. the rock it says I can it says dinosaur pick up it says it says <gasps> wait 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 oh hold on wait wait hold on oh I think it was me smart no I threw- he like fucking just I framed through a rock and it wouldn't let me pick him up. I was just gonna take a picture of him. <laughs> the rock just absorbed him. <laughs> Justice for the dinosaur, man. What the hell is going on also? Holy cow. Julia Buck, it's a resub. Damn. Hi, Shelly. Happy five months. Hello. Ah, oh, shit. Is that a rotten dead body? Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, that's the other shoe. You're Brian Goodwin. <gasps> oh, it's Brian Goodwin. I should have brought him as dinosaur. Oh, I could have brought him as dinosaur. I would have left him as dinosaur anyway. You fell. The oh, stuff gave out. Yeah, he wasn't murdered. He just fell. Kid. Whoa. Damn. That's super sad. Picture, uh, the pictures are kind of more just for photo mode, so I don't know if I really want to take a picture of the dead body, to be honest. I'm more upset I couldn't get a picture of the dinosaur, to be honest. Maybe, maybe, maybe the game will reset, and then we can go back to the camp, and then the dinosaur will be there. You know? Maybe. so sad man i thought like that was a murdered body or something but it was just he fell down save quick come back in i mean the m most recent save point was one minute ago and we lost the dino more than one minute ago so maybe the well if we save and reload what happens where would we spawn? Checkpoint or would we spawn right here? <laughs> Wait, restart current day. How far back would that take us? All is for a dinosaur. I don't know if that's worth it. 
Now that we know what to do, we could beeline, though. We'd have to go through the cave, though. Which would be fine. Probably too far just for a dinosaur. <laughs> Well, we wouldn't, we would. All I wanted to do is get a picture of the dinosaur. Do we get to see our photos at the end? Like, are the photos saved? Honestly, I think it would be very fast. I'm going to be honest. I think we could get back to that point where we are right now within like two minutes. This is what we do. This is literally the beginning. You beeline to the cave, go in, make your way out. Boom, you're at that site. And then you look at his camp and then you go in. It would be really fast. We're not wandering. We're not looking at stuff. We just collect and go. Honestly, I think it would be actually very fast to get the dino again. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> okay, that's perfect. That'll do, that'll do donkey. Look at him. Look at him being a dinosaur. All right. Perfect. Look at that little shot. It's him walking up to explore and look at the site of the mountains. All right. What if cam? One, two, three. Nice. <gasps> oh, whoa. Oh, shit. He's sleeping. <laughs> Wait, that's fine. That's fine. We got a picture of him. That's what that was our deal, right? We can't like just take him everywhere. Right? We wouldn't be able to keep him even if we wanted to. I just wanted him for the picture, you know? Brian Goodwin. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put the dinosaur in his hand. Oh, maybe it won't do it actually. That's kind of close enough. I wonder if it can actually. Oh, um, okay. That's interesting. Like the game has this body as like a box because we have to walk over it. That's okay. That's good enough. That must be so scary because you don't usually probably die right away when you fall like that. You probably you probably broke his leg or something. Oh wait, no. Oh wow. <gasps> Look, you can see the dino. Oh my god. I didn't know if you could do that. Look, you can see the dino from up here. Interesting. It only loads in when you zoom. God, I'm so glad we did that. Yeah, rocks had fallen on his head. Maybe he did die instantly. Yeah, maybe he'd squished his brain so he was out. That's that would be good. Because if he just fell down there and was just, you know, broke something and had to suffer, then that's sad, obviously. I mean, it's sad regardless because of what it is, but hopefully, hopefully the, the rocks on the head mean that he went out fast. I know, Alex. Yeah. So many ups and overs.
Oh, we made it back. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. I don't... I, I was curious about this. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. I can't run either. Maybe it was Ned. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. I still don't trust her. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. Yep. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. Maybe not. I mean, I... There's, there's, there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Damn. Wow. Well. No, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire or the site fire? Or... Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About we? About how all this stuff is connected. The mm. surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's gotta be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't even know where to begin. I think it's beeping again? Well, fuck. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I mean... Am I walking into a trap right now? I hope not. I would much rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. Is it leading us to the same spot as it was with the backpack? You've never seen the ending to this? Is it leading to the lake? What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. 
you sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Yeah, we're close to the ending, Pass I think. We're probably about 90% done with the game right now. So, we're very close. We've seen pretty much this entire area already, so we won't really dilly-dally much more. It's gotta be, uh... this loops around no oh there we go cassette tape oh creepy oh it reads henry on the rock Was his dad? It was harsh as hell and I ran out of books. Brian's dad? But I got that antenna rigged up and Yeah. Delilah. She's a she's a That's really what good I meant. Sorry, I didn't specify Brian's dad, yeah. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago I stopped worrying about you finding anything out and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. You guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just, he just, he just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions and having to get him put in the ground and I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. Mm. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Why is there three beds at that lookout then? Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone. He's deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Mm. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. There's a clothesline. I guess he's been dumping trash up here for a while. <gasps> Whoa. Cool. Whoa. This is neat. Camp stove. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Wow. This is actually cool. He wrote down everything he did to us. Everything he did every day, he was scared shitless. How to break in? I bet. Return borrowed equipment, erase HD evidence. Oh, Henry and Diane. Uh, Delilah. 
Hi, Twig. How many 14? Or four months. Sorry, I don't know why I said 14. Leave no trace. Ned is a vet with PTSD. Oh, that is true. He's not um, mentally well with that. I forgot about that. That is very right. Delilah? What the hell? What the? Weird. Fuck guilty. Oops, I didn't mean to. Oh, maybe those are just things he messed up on or something? Drafts? Abandoned wife? Will not be missed if removed. Is that what the first one read? Is this an order of what we picked up? Yeah. Wait. Observation report Delilah. Where's... Where's... Okay, cool. No, these are different. These are different now. Draft report on Henry. No kid's abandoned wife would not be missed if removed. That's very sad. <clears throat> so they were just like making typos and stuff. Dang. Yeah, maybe he did kill his son then. I mean, if he's struggling with mental health and you know a lot of that stuff who, who even knows Is this, I, I don't understand that's Brian, Brian a nice looking kid yeah that looks like a that does not look like a child really I mean a little bit I don't know father's day card <laughs> to a rad bad mega dad Oh, nice. Player's guidebook. Sleeping bag from the teens campsite question mark. Oh, creepy. List of supplies. Winter needs 1989. Jackets, blankets, box matches, socks, new boots, duct tape, dry elk skin, summer weight gain goal, 35 pounds. I forgot how wild it is, like, people who go on really intense hikes and stuff, like, how much weight you can lose because of how much you're having to move around and how little food you usually eat. This like, people who do, like, the PCT familiar. and stuff up on the West Coast, from Mexico to Canada, like, end up getting, like, a lot of weight gone. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time you're on his You're constantly hands. moving and not overeating, so... Because you can't carry that much food. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. I'm sorry. Quite a track, yeah. I don't know what to say. I know, I know the kid looked 35 in that drawing. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. This is a very nice shot. Oh, wow. Logs? Wait, like wife? Wait, what? Stakes too high. No one will believe I B was happy. <gasps> Wait, B as in Brian? Hold on. I need to like look at this in the sun. Stakes too high. No one will believe Brian was happy. Make... Uh, Delilah plus 2F less believable. What's 2F? 2F crazy like wife, not a good guy, mama grizz back. They heard me, fully believe there is a program, use this. Reports final, make sure they find them. Do we know what 2F is? 
Press Q. I like reading it like organically though. You know, I think it's cool to look at how they made the, the notes. I can, you know. But I know that does make it easier to read. I do know. Two forks. Oh, two forks. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two forks. Two forks almost caught me at site. Reports worked. Recorded call. Used for leverage. Oh, they were leveraging us. Two forks found supplies. Keys gone. How? Can't let 2F find Brian. Oh, can't let two forks find Brian. But that doesn't mean that he killed him still, but it's very possible. Get a room. Scout migration. Fucked up. Do not want to leave. Reminder, hide supplies for migration. Uh, Delilah and... Is he not referring... Is he referring to us as two forks? Two forks? And not as, as Henry? Why is he not, like, why, why, why? I wonder why. Because he called us Henry every, everywhere else. He wrote our name on the rock. Hmm. Observe and be ready to leave. Ideas, start working on reports, record all comms, vandalize D's tower. Oh, wow. Pin, oh, pin on us. Try to make remote recording device uni research site move pit against each other oh yeah they were right they were, that we were trying to they that he was trying to um turn us against each other hike to bt point severed radio com uh delilah never called for hiker list re-rigged uh delano to pick up dual frequency can hear dan two forks concurrently two forks hiked by cave, he seems less interested. Oh, we saw this on the clipboard. Two forks, Jules, Julian, Julia. Two forks is a good guy. I haven't seen Mama Grizz in two months. Uh, Delilah's drunk again. Oh, we totally read this wrong also. We're reading from right to left and not left to right. First ranger fly fishing at Jay Lake. Rainbow is hitting cad flies. Saw Mama Grizz on morning hike. Rainy week. Water stock's good. Smoking trout while hiker's gone. Oh, Brian's birthday's on the 5th. Saw first ranger of the year. Haven't left base in two weeks. Three weeks still. Stir crazy. Big hike tomorrow, cave. Um, new lookout. Henry. Oh, there's our name. Henry is two forks. Saw two forks coming out of cave. Uh, Delilah calling for hikers list. Delay her, she'll forget. I read that super backwards. He had quite the view. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. Mm, creepy. And this is a nice view. This is such a cool little cave. Okay, I think we kind of saw everything in here. Oh, coffee. Oh, wait, no, we saw that already. Typewriter. What did it read? Something stolen. Oh, propane take stolen. Mm. Dang. Okay, I think we saw everything. All right, and we we're supposed to go up north to thoroughfare lookout for evacuation. Thorfair look at and we are here. Okay, so we need to probably go back down. Cave core. Oh yeah, that's very cave core y. Hello. This might have been before he knew our actual name, to be fair. Well, I, in the earlier dates, because we accidentally read right to left for some reason, it, it, it said that um, Henry equals 2F, and then he still referred to us as 2F. Yeah. Interesting. Maybe it was just easier. Okay, let's see. Mm. 
Mm. I don't know what the fastest way there is, but I know that this way is pretty sturdy, so maybe we just do that. Yeah. No lag here? Oh, major lag for anyone else? Yeah, everyone good? Um, hi, Tay, also, welcome. Hello, hold on, I need to try to get up this rope. Why is it? Oh, there we go. Thanks for streaming so late and early. I've been up during the nights this last year with a lot of chronic health stuff and you guys have been so helpful. Tay, I'm, I'm glad that we've helped. And yeah, tonight we're doing it a little bit later just because I'm finishing this game in one go, but we're pretty much almost done with the game. Pretty sure once we get to that lookout, we're probably pretty good to go. <sighs> Oh yeah, that's true, to dehumanize, and also it might be easier for the coding, that's true. Man, this must I be, I should be relieved. so hard to breathe. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Lila, I, I think it was an accident. And I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. Oh yeah, she did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> D? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. The voice actors okay. for this game are uh, one second. very good, too. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Hey, really great voice acting. Uh, D. What if they don't come back for me? They'll come back. That's their job. Just what if we missed something about... Uh, something. I don't know. Henry, you're tired. There's nothing big going on. They'll come back for you. Just... wait. Bessie, don't gaslight me thinking I'm tired. I'm, I'm gonna go. Excuse me. Okay. If you have to. I have to. Hike safe. I still don't trust her. <sighs> like this guy, especially really good actor. She's done a great job. Like makes it feel like you're in a movie, you know, they did a really great job. Yeah, yeah, natural, The immer it helps immersion out, like 100%. It literally makes you feel like you're just kind of in a movie. It's very good. Very, very good. Is this? Yeah, we're good. We go through the cave again, though.
Mm -hmm. I think how much we hate Delilah for her mannerisms just shows how good her voice acting is. Oh, for sure. The character's really shitty, but the actress who did it, like, did a fantastic job. Like, we haven't seen her once. Our entire experience with her is through her voice at school. I love that, too. I agree. Yeah. Oh, nice music. Very pretty. If this is your first time with us, <gasps> let me extend a personal invitation Hello. to drag out your brushes and paints and that. <laughs> um, I had no idea how like dramatic this game was gonna be. I just kind of thought it was more of like a like a la di da, like beautiful walk arounds kind of game. <laughs> but it there was like so much story to it that was like intense that I didn't expect. But it's very good, super super good. It kind of gives me like Life is Strange vibes a little. Oh, it's this. That's right, that's right. Maybe maybe we'll get to see Delilah. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Uh -oh. Delilah? Yes, Dodo, I do um, landscape photography a lot. Um, so yes, mountains are a big, a big favorite of mine. So I was very excited and surprised I had never like done this game. But yeah, um, have you played The Long Dark? No, I have not. I have not played The Long Dark. Is that similar to this kind of game too? The name sounds dark. Is it more of like a scary game? Which I love scary games, so that works too. <gasps> we're about to go see Delilah's. Oh, I bet we're gonna see her drawing. Remember when she asked what we looked like and stuff? Have a good time. What the hell? She's got flowers in here. Oh, I'm excited to see her place. We get to see some stuff. I don't think she'd leave like weird shit behind though. Long Dark was the one I said the two voices were male and female Shepherd from Mass Effect. Oh. Julia's Insta is fire. Thanks. Yeah, all, a lot of my landscape photography is on my Instagram. I used to only post landscape photography and then I, you know, started streaming on Twitch and then streaming on Twitch full time and I was like, I should maybe put my face on there too. So I've been mixing it up now. Oh my God, are you guys ready? <gasps> oh. oh, was that her old partner? I forget what his name was. Oh, I'm so excited to see her place. The way you can just tell a woman lived here. Javier. Yeah, I think it was Javier. Pork pond. Hey, yo. 1001 crosswords. Gotcha. Okay. The dark, the dark something. She stole the sign. Oh, the pork pond sign. Equip. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. Oh. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red, Colorado plates. That's cute. Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Well, yeah. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. <laughs> hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. <laughs> Must There's a so debrief cute. in a situation like And we this. said happy eyes, Lots too, so questions. she made happy eyes. Ugh, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. 
and we prevented one fire. Hopefully, let me look at the other Basically part of her place. Another. Okay, so that's a wash. We. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on. That isn't this. You're not coming back. No, and you'll have to. <laughs> Ooh, I love the. I don't know. Yeah. The siren in the background I is don't so. Know what's next? Neat. This, this game has very good like. Why don't you choose for me? Like audio I'll design. For you. <laughs> All right. Sure. Um, maybe. Come to Boulder with me. I don't know. Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll mm. head south sometime after that. I could come no, by. No, I'm not sure. trying to hit it. Okay. So, what about me? She's manipulative and, and very boundary crossy. And then you can figure it out. That's me. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. Weird. I am. Um, yeah. You gotta go see her. Would you? I'm curious what she Would says. You? Henry, I... Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. Mm -hmm. She won't recognize me. <laughs> she won't even recognize me, Delilah. That's true. You're not just going for her. You don't know what it's like. <sighs> Bad things happen, okay? And you have to... You have to find a way to contain the damage. A good way. Well, hopefully I can figure out a way to do that. Yeah, I hope so. God, this got dark. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, there's the helicopter. Good. Now I want to look around for place up. more. Good luck, Henry. You too. You too. Good luck. You keep it for yourself. Bye, Hank. Hank? Okay, cool. I can still look around. Hank? Where'd you fucking call this Hank for? What the fuck is that about? Hank, man. What the? Oh, mixed nuts. <laughs> brand Kirkland which is in Washington which is funny because I'm in Washington 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 wow that's actually funny as hell I've literally had this before the Kirkland mixed nuts oh also yeah nut I was so distracted by the the off-brand Costco thing wow that's funny That's literally Julian. <laughs> That's just a picture of Julian. Applesauce? I'm sorry, what did... Oh, apple slice. Oh. Yeah, I want to keep that. Keep the tequila. Redneck green. Magnificent. Brigade bird? What the hell? Mug. What's her mug read? Anything? Oh, cute. It's just a travel mug. From the game's perspective, Henry abandoned his wife, tried and failed to hook up with Delilah, and steals everyone's food. Yeah, they kind of 
sort of paint him as the bad guy, but he's also kind of in a hopeless situation. His, you know, wife got dementia and he was going through a whole lot of stuff. And he got offered a job that he took and then, you know, dealt with a manipulative partner in crime here. And she was crossing boundaries a lot and put him in uncomfortable situations, which I feel like he handled fine. They never even saw each other. Yo, I can't even... Is it, is the helicopter supposed to be above us? Because we the thick... The smoke is so thick. It sounds like it should be right there. Wow. Oh, it's landed. Oh, it sounds like it's from above. That's weird. The peepee -pee cloud. Yeah, the yellow smoke. Wait, do we get to see Delilah now? Or is she in a separate one? Can you make eye contact with me? Hello? Hello, I'm right here. Fun little full circle thing, how he'd taken a photo of the dino too. I know. Yeah. Damn. GG's, that was a really good game. Yeah. <laughs>